Hello, Princess, from the Windjammer. Uh, it is the, our third day here aboard Odyssey of the Seas, and I am back to uh, do round two, or a redux, follow-up, whatever you want to call it, of what I did on Wonder of the Seas. So, I am going to build, I guess, the ultimate Windjammer burger that Odyssey allows me to make. I have seen the spread. It's similar, but I think there are a couple of differences that might work in Odyssey's favor, and I am very excited to go and try them and see uh, how things stack up. Ooh, the Battle of the Newbies. This is going to get interesting. Oh, but it's not going to end there. You know, you're going to see we're going to do this again later in the week. So, well, not here, but oh yeah, it's going to get good. Okay, well, yes, I am hungry because I had that teeny little breakfast that uh, maybe you haven't seen yet. So, let's go. Unlike Wonder of the Seas, they do have some nice starter kits already laid out. The burgers, a hot dog and chili dogs, oh, and more burgers. But this is definitely not all we have to work with. Because if you round uh, the corner to the hot dogs and burgers station, well, you have all the individual components laid out. There's burgers, hot dogs, uh, the buns are over there. And they also have chicken nuggets, the fries, cheese sauce, all these toppings over here on the left, all the usual stuff, pickles, onions, jalapenos, cheese, but moving to the other side, well, there are some repeats, but even more important, uh, they also have chili. Yes, that is something not seen before. And, and, wait, 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 wait. Oh yes, right there. Bacon. All right, so let's, um, let's strategize for a bit and uh, get it together. But the Windjammer is a pretty big place, so we should not just limit ourselves to the hot dog and burger station. There are more possibilities, uh, well, just across the way, around the river bend. I didn't, I didn't pre-think of that, I'm sorry. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're good afternoon now he wants to speak. Ah. To all but if we visit the salad station, there are some interesting options like coleslaw. It is a vinegar coleslaw, so we'll see how that goes arugula, parmesan cheese, grated parmesan cheese, and various dressings, although I do not see American dressing. I don't know if I'm disappointed about that. I can already tell Odyssey is pulling ahead quite substantially simply because there's way more options as if somebody actually thought this through. My problem is the plates are not large enough to gather everything. so. I'm going to have to assemble a little bit and then go back. They're just, they don't have trays. I understand why they don't have trays. Wait, you know what? I didn't even ask. Whatever. I'll, I'll figure it out. Here is my creation. It is a single patty uh, with cheese on the bottom. Then uh, there's tomato, onions, the burger patty, which actually looks better than the ones on Wonder. Uh, some melted cheese. And then in there is uh, bacon chopped bacon. Uh, there's a couple of jalapenos and a pickle or two and some chili. I got onion rings, which they had just put out when I walked up. I didn't see those there before. And I did get the coleslaw. I'm not sure how I'm going to fit that in, but uh, we'll seem to, we'll, we'll make it happen. I got ketchup and uh, some ranch and barbecue sauce. Won't be using that. Not going to go into it. Anyway, uh, all right, here we are. I will say that uh, this presentation looks better than what I was able to accomplish on Wonder of the Seas, and I'm thinking um, I'm thinking it is going to be better. Just um, I don't know, kind of have a feeling, but it is. Uh, this took way, way too long, so I'm gonna shut up now and actually eat it. But it's but it's so pretty. Oh gosh, my Windjammer burger. Okay. So, um, you know what, I'm just gonna start off with this. Uh, sorry, Wonder Woman was no competition. Odyssey is the clear winner of uh, that little battle, primarily because the ingredients, the availability of ingredients and the quality was much better. That was an actual beef patty. Uh, what I had on Wonder was like, I'll call it a picnic patty. And eh, yeah, it didn't work out too well. These were actually, they're good. I mean, like uh, kind of what I had on MSC. So that really, that put an edge over the edge no matter what. And also just the availability of ingredients seemed a lot more, I don't know, 
Um, there was a lot more here to choose from. It could have gone in a number of different directions. I chose something uh, semi-traditional, kind of a barbecue bacon burger. Um, if I do this again, I might, because that actually was that good. I will, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just a traditional burger. Um, the one thing that, uh, was, there are a couple things that were drawbacks, though. Uh, everything can't be perfect, especially in a setting like this. Um, one was a royal, okay, listen, the, the buns, you cannot keep them under the lights, okay? It's terrible because they just turn out to be dry and crumbly, and it kind of, it's, it distracts from the overall, you know, goodness of everything else. So very, very easy to fix. Just put them aside, and uh, you'll be good to go. Second, and uh, I contributed to this, I will admit, uh, it took so long to assemble that, uh, certain things got cold. And that was the problem with the, the bread. It had been heated under the lamp, then it got cold, so it turned out to be dry. So, uh, again, very easy fix. If I had planned it out better, I think it would have turned out better. Uh, the longest time took sorting out the ramekins for the sauce. I didn't actually, I was learning how to carry them, no trays. <laughs> I'm not gonna blame Odyssey for that because I haven't really seen those in a buffet ever, but uh, I should ask. Anyway, I probably won't. But you know what, maybe I will. Either way, um, yeah, so a few things got cold by the time I was able to get everything together. So if I can figure out how to speed this up a little bit or just change the assembly process uh, so that I grab the hot stuff last, kind of obvious now that I say it, yeah, I think it would turn out quite, quite a lot better. But, okay, yes, Odyssey of the Seas, clear winner in this round, uh, best wind jammer burger. So it was quite delicious. Like I said, it's so good. I want to come back and do this again with a different style. Maybe combine it with one of the theme nights, like maybe do an Italian burger. I don't know. I don't know how that would work. Oh, tonight's Mediterranean night. Mediterranean burger. I'm not going to do that. But uh, it's uh, something uh, on my next sailing. All right. Um, okay, well, that's it. Yes, definitely. Come spend the time to assemble your burger here in the Windjammer. And you know what? You can create something uh, pretty, pretty great. <sighs> Well, it's time for dessert, and, and, oh my god, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, hopefully the rotation lasts the rest of the cruise, because the rainbow sprinkles are still out. Let me tell you, if, if they're available for the rest of the cruise, that's it, I'm just booking the next one and the crossing, I am not leaving. The vanilla ice cream with sprinkles was as delicious as ever, ugh, why is that so good, and am I really that easy to make happy? Yes, I'm not a chick. Anyway. Well, that was my burger experience here in the Windjammer on Odyssey of the Seas. Odyssey of the Seas. Clear winner over Wonder Woman of the Seas. And uh, very happy I did this. So, uh, now I really want to do, I'm repeating myself again, but it was just that good and a great experience. So, you know what? I'm going to leave it at that. You know what? The Bill Drove Burger, definitely a possibility. Consider it an extra dining establishment. That's what I'm going to start doing. Uh, so, uh, yes. Well, it's just, uh, I don't know. Because I have to come up with something. Yeah, the bun could have been better, could have been uh, not put under the lamps, and I took way too long assembling it, which is on me, and I will do better next time. But hey, that is why I am thankful for my problems. <laughs>